How's it? You're watching Short Round Gear Reviews. Today we're going to talk about two things. We're going to cover the um, all-in-one system. That's where you can have the tarp and the uh, uh, hammock as one without stringing up another ridge line for your tarp. And I want to talk about the Shell Toe Hammock Company Cinch Pull Buckle System. Um, I was originally inspired, of course, everyone was inspired by the Tom Hennessy design where the tarp and the hammock are together and all you do is pull out the prussics in order to um, hang the, the tarp. Um, now I found that a lot of times when people were using the original suspension from the Tom Hennessy hammock it was just a rope and sometimes they would run short uh, between trees and their um, tarp wouldn't be taut because it didn't have enough length to stretch the tarp out. So um, I do have a, um, a Hennessy X-Bed and what I did is I swapped up the suspension like most people did and I had Dutch make me two three foot uh, dog bones and I had him splice the June bugs on the ends of those dog bones. So I was assuring myself enough length on each end, again three foot on each end of the dog bone in order to stretch the tarp top across those dog bones. Um, I was trying to figure out how I was going to do it. Originally I was thinking how am I going to set this up on a one inch webbing. Um, I thought if I use a whoopee sling it might preload the constriction and mess up how uh, the, the uh, whoopee sling suspension would work. So then after that I saw Spagiver's video on a new shell toey um, half shell zip hammock and the suspension intrigued me. Um, because of the, the cinch buckle system that he has on there. And we'll show you that in a second. All right, for this illustration, I'm using the only tarp that I have currently. This is the um, Hennessy X-PED ASIM. And what I got right here is I just used continuous loops. Now, I know this is am steel on am steel, so you think it's slick. So as it appears, it moves up and down. I used a continuous loop just like, I, uh, like a Prusik. All right, so gray for the foot end. Right now, tarp's just sagging on top of the structural ridge line. And on the other head, uh, end, red for head. And as you see, it moves and glides just like a Prusik does on any kind of thing. So the issue is a lot of people will think, well, the amp still will probably just slip once the hammock is weighted. To my surprise, this thing bites like vice grips. So basically, here we go. What you want to do is just tension up the Prusik. So I just pull this line up, and as you see, starting to get some tension on the ridge line of the tarp. Now I'm going to weight the hammock, full body weight, so you can see the top of this tarp ridge line will stay straight, it won't sag. The hammock itself and the tarp will drop, but this won't bow in and the sides won't cave in. I'll demonstrate that now. All right, so here's the top of the structural ridge line. Here's the inside top of the uh, tarp ridge line. I'm sitting in it weighted. You can see there's no drop or sag on top of the ridge line. I have that much distance. I mean, that's got to be seven to eight inches. All right, so I'm going to fully weight the hammock. And you will see that the uh, the ridge line of the tarp will not touch the structural ridge line at all. The side walls of the tarp are not caved in or sagging. And here's my foot. I have a size 10 foot. And look at the space between the structural ridge line and the inside top at the ridge line of the tarp. Here's the real star of the show. 
This is the uh, Shotoe cinch pull buckle system. Many of you I know are familiar with any of the cinch buckle systems. Once you weight the system with your body weight, they can be kind of difficult to um, undo in order to continue to do infinite adjustments. So I will get in the hammock. I'm going to bounce around in there with my full body weight. And then I'm going to come back around and show you the sorcery of this buckle system. All right, all you do is put your index finger inside the webbing and then just pull towards the hammock. Again, that's how simple it is. That was full weight with me bouncing around. So contact Alec Gash from Shotoe Hammock Company and uh, he'll be glad to help you out. He's a great guy. It's my first time dealing with him and his company, and I hope to uh, make some more purchases from him in the future. It's a great system right here. All right, so in conclusion, um, I think when using an all-in-one setup where you're using the tarp connected to the hammock, I think the crucial thing is the length of uh, your suspension. So if you're, for in this case, I'm using the dog bones, uh, three foot on each end, that gives me well enough room and play to be able to stretch this tarp out um, where it needs to be to have the tension to achieve no sag. Um, another important thing is distance of trees. So you factor in, this is an 11 foot hammock, and then I got basically uh, combined six extra feet that's three on each end, and then the suspension. So um, you're going to just find that right distance between trees where you can get that 30 degree angle hang um, and then enough room to tension out the tarp um, crusses. Uh, I've actually, you know, I'm just showing you this at my backyard at home, but I've used this in the field um, several times in my Hennessy um, expedition, and it worked perfect. And uh, for instance, last night when I slept in it, it was a lot of um, uh, dew, uh, a lot of condensation going on. The tarp didn't even sag even with the condensation hanging on it. So um, the prussics held tight, never let loose on the amp steel, uh, never slipped, never sagged, nothing drooped. Um, the sides stayed taut and it works for me. Um, but as far as uh, the highlight of this vid is the, um, the shell uh cinch pull buckle system. It is hands down the best one I've ever used. And um, I had just recently bought Dutch's new June bug buckles. And those are great, but still you have the fiddle factor of trying to um, take the tension off the cinch buckles. And that goes for all of them. I have the war bonnet cinch buckles, same thing. They work great when the hammock is not weighted or it doesn't have a bunch of stuff loaded on it like your quilt system it will glide up and down and let loose all day, but the minute you put your weight in there, you know, I'm 180 pounds, those buckles bite. And the leverage that this pull system gives, it's, it's, you, 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 there's no system that works like it. So um, check out Alex, he's got great gear. Um, big shout out to Spagiver who um, showed off these uh, the cinch buckle system. Um, that was the inspiration for me to contact Alex and see if I could buy those um, by themselves because I actually just bought this Dutch wear um, half zip. So, uh, but in the future, I'd love to try out um, the Shell Toei Company's hammocks. I know they got a lot of great stuff out there too. So maybe in the future, I'll purchase one of those. But thanks for watching Short Round Gear Reviews.